evening. Cleveland and city leaders took time to honor police officer Jameson Ritter, who died in the line of duty last week. Also today, the man investigators say killed him, was indicted for his death and for allegedly killing his own grandmother. Our Mitty Hicks breaks down another busy, emotional day. I'm going to ask for a special moment of silence and recognition of Cleveland Police Officer Jamison R. Ritter, badge number 1176. A quiet moment for Cleveland City Council's last meeting this summer as they honor fallen Cleveland Police Officer Jamison Ritter. This comes after a day of major developments. A grand jury has indicted 24-year-old Delonte Hardy. The man police say killed Cleveland Police Officer Ritter and Hardy's own grandmother, 68-year-old Beatrice Porter. The indictment comes two days after the memorial for Officer Ritter. In both cases, Hardy faces 18 counts that include assault, robbery, theft, and resisting arrests, along with murder. New details from the indictment paint a picture on what led to the officer's death. The prosecutor's office says it all began when Hardy stole his grandmother's gun, then shot her in the back of the head. She died on July 4th. That's why Officer Ritter and several other police officers went to a home in Cleveland to arrest him. Officers had a warrant related to her death. Once there, Officer Ritter instructed Hardy to come outside six times with his hands up. But police say Hardy ran to the back of the home with a gun he stole and other weapons such as swords. Officers tried arresting him as he tried to get away on his grandfather's bike. Investigators say Hardy fired at least four gunshots, one of those bullets hitting Officer Ritter. In a statement, Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Michael O'Malley says that in the course of a week, Hardy caused unimaginable damage and grief to two families, our law enforcement community, and our entire region. And we've also learned three other shots fired nearly missed another officer and some other shots were fired in the direction of two other officers on scene. Officer Ritter's funeral will be held this weekend in upstate New York. We'll have those details on our website, WKYC.com, Russ. Minnie Hicks here in the studio. Thank you.